Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the ESRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It is generally suitable for people aged 10 years and up. From the turreted castle and Main Street to Monte Cristo Island and Kukwana Land, Bartholomew Zenon's Zenon Land is protected by the Night Sheriff. Day and night, he is burdened by a witch's curse to be aware of all that live and play within the massive fantasy theme park. Now an attack on the park by a monster hunter who knows far too much threatens everything, guests, staff, and fellow supernaturals taking refuge in the park. The night sheriff must scramble to uncover not only the source of the threat, but secrets of the park of which even he was not aware. If he doesn't, he may be doomed. The park may be doomed. Even the world may be doomed. And that's a lot of doom. Get your copy at Amazon.com today. Hey kids, this is Jack. How you doing? Welcome back to the... I used to speak English. Now, I don't know what I'm doing. Welcome back to the Sequoia... Sequoia Park Zoo. I'm going to be speaking a little bit slower from now on because apparently my lips are stumbling over themselves. Anyway, uh, like I said at the end of um, at the end of the last episode, what we're going to do um, is we're going to add a habitat. We have a lot of Arctic foxes. Hold on just a second. I think we have too many Arctic foxes for this space. Um, we're going to add a, har uh, a, harbor a harbinger. We're going to add a harbor. Hub 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 Jeez. I, folks, honestly, I have no idea what's going on with me and my, my ability to speak clearly. But apparently it's just out the door right now. And I apologize for that. Oh, th no. That's red fox. Wrong fox. Arctic fox. Here we go. And let's turn off the red foxes. This is more like it. Okay, so. These are my base... One, two, three, four, five. These guys are all going to get released to the wild. Okay. And that leaves one, two, three, four, five juveniles. Well, we're going to put everybody on birth control because ye gods. Look at this. All right. Anyway, like I was trying to say before I kept fumbling my words, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this space and putting in a habitat for the European fallow deer. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be a pretty basic habitat. I mean, deer are deer, and they don't require a lot of space, and uh, they all have the same basic needs, and we've already put in three species of deer, so this will round out all four species of deer that you can find in the game right now. Uh, the reindeer, the red deer, the moose, and of course this deer species which is the European fallow deer. Um, it's been a couple of days since they made the announcement about the grassland pack. I am very excited for it. Uh, the animals that they're going to be including, I'm I, I really like, um, I'm especially looking forward to, I like making um, habitats for the smaller animals. And you know, they're, they're giving us the nine banded armadillo. Those live here in Florida. You know, I mean, they're, uh, they're found in other places across the United States too, you know, mostly the Southern United States. But, you know, they're a Florida species. Um, just like the, uh, the raccoons and the skunks are, you know, they're not necessarily restricted to Florida, but they are definitely found in Florida. And I like, you know, being able to, to, to put Flor Florida animals. My dream is that they add a bunch of other Florida species. I'd love to see, for example, the, um, the Florida panther. A lot of people don't even know that we have panthers here in Florida, but we do. We have panthers. And uh, another one, another good one would be 
like the key deer. Key deer are like micro deer. They're tiny. You know, they're about the size of your average golden retriever. Um, my family and I were on a, a vacation to Key West. And we decided to go have a picnic because, you know, it was brilliant weather and the beach and all that number. And we're going to have a picnic. And uh, as we were sitting down at this picnic table, you know, basically making a bunch of salami sandwiches and such, this herd of key deer, an entire herd of them, comes wandering through. And one of them is like walking up to the table. They have no fear of humans because... For like the last 60 years, it has been blatantly, blatantly illegal to molest these guys. You don't touch them. You don't get in their way. You don't stop them from eating your begonias. You know, sorry guys, if, if they're eating your begonias and you don't want them to, well, too bad, so sad, replanting your begonias. But they're brilliantly, you know, and they're, they're cute and they're adorable and they're deer. And... Uh, I'd, I'd like I'd love to see them. Uh, the American crocodile. We probably don't need another crocodilian. Let's face it. We got we got a bunch of crocodilian species in this place, so we probably don't need another crocodilian species. But you know what? The more the merrier. What the hell? Okay. European fallow deer. All right. And we're gonna send them all to the zoo. Let's unpause that so they actually arrive. And then, let's see, I'm going to take one of these. Because this is, you know, it's a pretty good design for a shelter. Um, you know, because my dream is to make a, a zoo with nothing but Florid Floridian animals. We have, here in Florida, one of the most diverse biospheres of any area in the country. I mean, serious, serious diverse. And, but surprisingly, very few animals that actually live in Florida are in the game. All right, I'm gonna pause it again so I can take some readings. Hello there, Tina. How you doing, baby? All right, that looks good so far. 1,744 square meters, they only need 500, that's perfect. So, is that straight? Is that straight, you think? I think I want to pull it forward a little bit more. And I will be adjusting the, uh, adjusting the, the, uh, barrier. Yeah, I think, that, I think, I think it works, don't you think? Yeah, let's, let's go with it, sure. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, you know, uh, I want to do a, I've, I've made the attempt in other playthroughs. Um, where, you know, I've, I've tried to make a, a, a Florida style zoo, um, but because, you know, we, we, at the time, the last time I tried, I didn't, we didn't even have the American alligator. And without that, what are you going to do? You know, what exactly are you going to do? You know, we have red wolves here in Florida, but they're not timber wolves. Timber wolves and red wolves are different animals entirely um, you know it's just a thing all right let's see maybe if we do get birds you know uh, I know we're getting birds as a as a uh, uh, exhibit species you know, so how about, you know, the red tail hawks, bald eagles, those kind of birds? Is that? Yeah, that's on the other side. No, thank you. Edit barrier. All right. Let's see. Not enough short grass, and it's almost all short grass. Too much long grass. All 
All right. Let's put some stuff down, and then after I put some stuff down, I'll work on the barriers. Okay, there's our food thingy. I'm gonna put a water pipe down. Bigger. What do you mean it's inaccessible? What are you talking about inaccessible? You see this inaccessible? Jeez, what the hell? There we go. I don't know why that was considered inaccessible. Oh, hey, snow. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. And we'll put a feeder ball over here. Okay, hanging. light on. Big feeder barrel. And we're going to put it over in the corner. Then we'll get a scarecrow feeder and we'll put them over here. All right. Now, as for the toys, they definitely need a drop ball and a big soccer ball. Put this right in the middle of this here uh, rubbing pillar. They can use that. And what's last? A skittle? Yeah, we'll give them a skittle. Uh, 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 skittle, 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 skittle. Let's not lose the ability to speak English again. All right. Now let's see what they need as far as plant life is concerned. They need coverage, but. I've got enough plants. Well, you know what? I don't think I've got enough plants at all. So let's do this. Taiga. Let's see what I can find. I'm gonna have, gonna have baby doll sheep soon. Okay. Okay, plants are up, toys are up, deer seem happy, they have shelter. Time to work on those barriers, guys. And I'm gonna start with, um, I'm gonna start by going directly from this. 
not a complete match, but you know, it'll work. Wait, no, not that. This over here. We're gonna use this. And let me get it nice and straight. That's nowhere near nice and straight. How about that? So my brother Nathan and I spent all day today at the Brevard Zoo um, here in Melbourne, Florida. If you're ever in the area, it is a brilliant uh, zoo. It's not a, a huge zoo, but it is sufficient. It will give, give you some exercise. And it's got a nice collection of animals. Although I have to say, they had a bunch of um, Caribbean flamingos in, that were under quarantine. Holy shit, those stink. You know, it was like 20 birds and they're all in one small place. You know, I mean, the, the birds themselves don't mind being stacked on top of one another like that, as we know from this game itself. But they were generating a stink. And I understand why they were doing it. They were doing it for disease control. Um... But still, <laughs> it's like, ye gods. Um, but otherwise, it was a really, it was a really fun time. You know, um, found out that the crocodile, the American crocodile, Florida is the only place in the world where you get alligators and crocodiles in the same area. Um, the American crocodile that they had at at the uh, at the zoo was named Gollum. Of all things, like the character from uh, 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 *Lord of the Rings*, and I think that's just great. I think it's a fantastic. All right. Do. I have The Chain by Fleetwood Mac in my head. And of course, it's a classic song. It's a brilliant song. I have no idea why it's in my head. Boom, 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 boom. Dun, 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 dun. You know, by no means am I doing justice to Lindsey Buckingham's brilliant guitar work with my humming. But it is a fantastic song. All right. If I go silent while I'm doing this, I apologize ahead of time. Um, I'm going to try and keep the conversation going, but you know how it is sometimes. Anyway, you know, we, uh, we went to the zoo. Spent several hours there. Uh, had lunch there. It was very nice. And um, I have to say, I love doing that with my my baby brother. Nathan is, uh, you know, we he he's my best friend. And I know that you know it's common for people to say, oh yeah, my brother, he's he's a great guy, and I love him. He's my best friend. Well, I mean it. Nathan is literally my best friend. And the odd thing is, we are 10 years apart. So it wasn't like we grew up, you know, we, 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 we weren't close because we're close in age, because we're not. You know, by the time he got interesting, and that's his term, by the time he got interesting, I was almost 30 years old. But uh, the minute he, you know, and, and I gotta tell you, aside from doing the Big Brother stuff, he and I didn't really do a lot while he was a kid but you know then he grew up and I was an enthusiastic practitioner of the Big Brother stuff you know trust me if he needed help I was there especially if he was being pushed around by some asshole 
you know, I don't care if you are 10 years younger than I am. You, you beat up my baby brother, I'm going to put you in the hospital. I'm not violent by nature. I'm protective by nature. Oh, for crying out loud, look at this. Can you believe this? Ah, and it immediately resumes. Yeah, of course it does. I really hope that we don't keep having that all night. That That's just, you know, because it's not my internet connection. We I found that out last night. This The problem here is not my internet connection. The problem here is the game server was dropping out and that's that, that's not right it's not you know not what i want not what i need that kind of thing this is probably the most boring repetitive thing to to watch in the world and i'm sorry guys but this is a real-time game through, and this is what a lot of the building is. You know, it's, it's like, okay, let's put 90 of these things in place. So we got to uh, we got to see the bears. They have three Florida black bears. We got to see the lions. Those are big, big cats. I gotta tell you. I mean, I know lions are big intellectually, but yeesh, this thing was a monster. Okay. Oh, okay. Right, there we go. 